Hi, I'm Connor from Connor.engineer and today I'm going to go on through how to draw threads for 3D printing in SolidWorks. Uh, so we can see the finished models here. So we have a body and a cap. So you can see the threads on the cap and the design and the knurling and stuff. I just have my, my, my initials on it there as well. And you can see the threads on the inside of the, the body um, and these two pieces screw together uh, then to form one box. Um, so that's the finished piece there together um, so you can see the treads are nice and they fit well together fairly well um, so I'm going to be going through how to do this in SOLIDWORKS and how to work out the different tolerances and stuff uh, so we'll go over to SOLIDWORKS now and I'll step through that okay so I have SOLIDWORKS open here and for this short tutorial what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up the footage by about 10 times uh, just to make this video a bit shorter so what I'm doing here is I'm drawing the main box uh, that the cap will screw into. So that's it drawn there. Now I've opened the new parts and I've started drawing the cap. So you can, si you can see the rough shape of the cap starting to come together there. And I'm just putting some fillets on it uh, just to make it look a bit nicer and feel a bit better. Uh, I'm just designing the grip here now. Uh, the all the little notches that were on the outside of the cap, I'm putting those in now. I'm just going to make a circular pattern around the uh, the object just to draw it quicker rather than have to draw all of them. Okay, so I'm starting to get into drawing the threads here. Uh, so I'm drawing the profile of the thread that we're going to use to drag around uh, a helix to create the actual thread itself. So now I'm putting in a plane to draw, to start drawing the helix. So you can see the shape of the helix there now. And now you can see I have the thread put in. Uh, the next step is to put some chamfers on the thread and some filleting just to make the thread screw in and out of the cap easier. Uh, the next thing we have to do is we have to edit the cap and make another cap so that the uh, with a larger thread so that the uh, we can cut that out of the box just to give tolerance between the cap and the body. So the next step is to cut our larger cap piece out of the uh, box itself. So we have the threads cut into the box. Uh, so I'm just using the mate tool here to put the two pieces together. And there they are together. And now I'm doing my combine and subtracting. So you can see the threads there. Uh, so here I'm just sanity, uh, sanity checking the threads. So you can see that they fit together there. And this file is ready for printing. OK, so I saved the cap and the body as STLs in SOLIDWORKS. Uh, it's simple, just save as STL. And I've imported them into my slicer here. I'm using the Cure slicer in OctoPrint, because OctoPrint is what I use to manage my 3D printer. So when you import them, they'll probably be in the wrong orientation. So you just need to orientate them properly. Um, the cap, uh, we're going to print upside down, just because there's detail on the bottom of it. Uh, what I did after you left the tutorial was I added just my initials to the uh, the model. Uh, and I'm just going to line them up where I usually print stuff on my bed. Um, and that should be ready to go. Uh, I've This is just the profile of my printer. Just a quick overview. I use 200 degree nozzle head, 50 degree bed. Uh, they're 0 0.2 layer heights. Uh, fill density is 20. I kind of want this to be a strong part. Uh, normally, I'd use less than that. Uh, 1.2 shell thickness, 30 millimeter per second print speed. Um, and that's mainly it. And then you can slice out the part then. OK, so I'm just going to play a time lapse here. So uh, my printer produces a time lapse because uh, I have a webcam to monitor the print as it prints the, uh, the file. So 
I'm going to just watch through the time lapse here. You can see the cap is on this side and the uh, main body is on the other side. You'll start to see the threads coming up on the cap there now, over here on this side. Uh, the printer is uh, an ANET A8. Uh, it was about 200 euro, including shipping, uh, from Sandsmart. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you'd like to have a look at the printer. Uh, it's a fairly good printer, but it takes a good while to uh, get it set up and configured to work properly. Uh, but it's well worth it. It's a good, it's a good cheap printer, a good kit printer, in my opinion. You can you can definitely see the threads at this point. So it's finished printing the cap and it is now uh, printing the body. Uh, this print took about three hours to finish on my printer. Okay, so this is my printer. Uh, I just had to throw in some quick footage of it. Uh, so here is the hot end and my heat bed. Um, this is the webcam that I use for my time lapses and for monitoring prints remotely. Um, I have some tools held up at the sides, uh, there's the controller, um, the screen, um, the whole thing is controlled by a Raspberry Pi down the side there, um, and I just have blue tape on the bed for adhesion. Okay, so at the end of all that we have our final uh, finished piece, um, so with the two parts and the threads. Uh, when you first take it off the printer, uh, you'll have to run the threads into the part and back out a good few times just to break off any loose pieces, any uh, swar or stray bits of filament um, just to get them, them fitting well. But as you can see, it, it goes in and out very well uh, and it's very easy to use. Um, so there's kind of the inside and I've kind of cleaned it up a bit. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, let me know what you think of it. Uh, if you want me to do more, let me know. Um, I'm used to writing more kind of uh, blog style tutorials, uh, but if you like this, I can give this a go more. Um, so yeah, there's tons of uh, articles and blogs available on Connor.engineer uh, with lots of different 3D printing and electronics projects. Uh, so thanks for, I suppose, making it through this video. And hopefully we'll see you around again. Okay, bye.